guys, it's Kira and welcome to another video. Today I'm really excited to be doing my first ever try a chapter book tag. I'm really looking forward to it because I've never done it before, but honestly this seems like a tag that was made for me because as you may or may not know, I am a really, really indecisive person. Whether it's choosing what to have for dinner, what to wear, what to listen to or watch, or in this case, what to read, I always really struggle to make a decision. So I am no stranger to all kinds of ways of trying to get other people to help me make decisions, whether that is flipping coins, asking you guys in the comments of videos what I should read, or more often than not getting my boyfriend Jay to help me decide because honestly, I will do anything possible to avoid a decision like this. But today I thought it would be really fun to pick four books. So I have a pile of wonderful sounding books behind me and they are all books that are really, really popular. All of these books have come to me with very high recommendation and I'm really excited to see which one I like best. I'm planning to read all of them at some point, but I thought that this little tag and reading the first chapter of each book would be a great way to decide which one I'm going to be reading first. So without further ado, let's introduce the books that I'm going to be choosing between. First up we have Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to say that about all of these books, let's be honest. Next up we have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Now actually both of these books were very high on my list and in my last reading vlog I asked you guys to help me choose between these two books but that decision making skill didn't end up working out because you guys basically gave me an equal amount of recommendations for both of these books and both of them were really really popular and so I decided why not make this an even more complicated decision and add an extra couple of books into the mix as well. So the next book we have is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo and then finally we have The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue also by V.E. Schwab. So we're on a very V.E. Schwab centered list here. So in case you're not aware of what a try a chapter tag is, essentially it is trying a chapter of each of these books. So you read the first chapter of each of the books that you're thinking about reading, decide what you think of them all, give some thoughts and then decide which one you're going to continue on with. So without further ado, seeing as I've got two V.E. Schwabs, I think I'll start with one of hers. So I might as well make a start with Vicious. So I'll catch up with you in a few moments when I've read a chapter of Vicious. Okay, very short first chapter, but I am intrigued to say the least. There's one quote in particular that really hooked me. But before I say that, I'll just give a brief overview. We essentially are introduced to two characters. One is called Victor, who apparently has just broken out of jail. And the other is someone called Sydney, who is a young girl that has just been shot or was shot. And they have somehow come together and we don't really know why or how. And this quote says, truth be told, Victor didn't care for graveyards either. He didn't like dead people, mostly because he had no effect on them. Sydney, conversely, didn't like dead people because she had such a marked effect on them, which I just thought was really interesting and gave such a strange and quite brief but very, very telling overview of these two characters. So this one has definitely got me intrigued and I really am looking forward to finding out more about it. So without further ado, let's move on to book number two, which is going to be The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern.
Evanstein has such an incredible way with words. She writes in such a vivid and descriptive way, which I think does mean that her stories generally get off to a slower start because she builds up such a vivid picture of the world that she's creating, which does mean that her books, I think, are definitely more of the slow burn style rather than the ones that grip you immediately. However, I am still really excited about this one. It's not led me with as much intrigue necessarily as I felt after I just finished that first chapter of Vicious because I think that is a more intense story, but I know that I'm gonna love this one. And there is a quote in particular, which is talking about the Starless Sea, which as it turns out seems to be a like location or place and it says it is a sanctuary for storytellers and story keepers and story lovers they eat and sleep and dream surrounded by chronicles and histories and myths some stay for hours or days before returning to the world above but others remain for weeks or years living in shared or private chambers and spending their hours reading or studying or writing discussing and creating with their fellow residents working in solitude and I just feel like that sounds so cozy and beautiful and it's a book which is clearly about books which I love. A part of me though feels like this is going to be a perfect December read like around Christmas time because I think it is going to be so cozy and vivid and I can just imagine curling up at Christmas with a hot chocolate and this book. So part of me is considering not reading this one now, not because I don't want to read it because it does sound really good but more so because I feel like I'll enjoy it even more if I wait until next month. But decision has not been made yet. The next book on the list we have is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. So let's jump into that one. That was a really short but sweet chapter and I really liked it. I feel like I'm going to definitely enjoy this book. I actually started out with a recipe, which as a food lover, I really like. And honestly, the fact that food is such a big part of this book is one of the reasons I'm so excited about it. Because from what I understand, the main character of this book is an aspiring chef, which I just think is going to be so nice because for me personally, I feel like food never gets enough of a focus in books. It's always just kind of like a sideline thing. And then there are a few books which give food a lot of attention and I love those books so the fact that this one started out with a recipe definitely gives me a lot of hope how much I'm going to enjoy the food representation in this book but then aside from that we haven't actually really delved into her aspirations to be a chef yet but we have our main character Emily I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but Emily is a high school student and she is also a young mother she has a two-year-old daughter and at the beginning of this book we just get an insight into the way that she is kind of juggling everything she's still getting an education and going to school which is obviously a priority but she's also trying to be the best mother that she can and she's just got her daughter into a really good daycare and she's really proud of that but she's kind of struggling with her desire to achieve things but also her desire to be a mum and I feel like it's going to be a really interesting book which shows how difficult of a situation she's in but also like I guess strength of character as she is dealing with it really really well as it would seem at this point. So definitely enjoyed this one as well and so far I'm having a great time because all of these books are so different but they're also good in their own rights. So the final book is our second V.E. Schwab and that is the Invisible Life of Addy LaRue. This is the newest book on this um, list that I've got here. It's a very new release and it has been very, very well received by basically everyone that's read it, I think. Although it is meant to be quite emotional, so I'm really excited about this one. So let's jump straight into it. All of the other books I had like pre-marked out where the chapters ended, but on this one I've borrowed this book from M and she does not fold over pages, so I have just got a little piece of paper to mark out where I'm stopping.
Wow, that's an interesting one as well. Oh my God, this is so hard. All I've done now is confirm the fact that all of these books are really, really good. So um, this one is about a girl called Addie LaRue and Addie for some reason is plagued by the fact that she is to be forgotten by everyone essentially. So at the beginning of this book and in the chapter that I just read, she's just woken up in the bed of a guy that she was on a date with the night before, but she knows that when he wakes up, he won't have any recollection of who she is. And she also cannot reveal her real name to anyone. So she goes by loads and loads of aliases because for some reason there is some kind of thing that stops people from remembering her and from her being able to say who she really is. Um, so that's a really intriguing premise and also really sad. So I'm definitely, definitely excited to see how this one pans out. Oh, which one do I choose? Which one? <laughs> Sorry, you had to hit me singing. So, okay. We have four incredible books. I think I've made the executive decision that I'm not gonna be reading The Starless Sea because I just think it's gonna be perfect at Christmas time. So I'm gonna pop this one to one side. And then in my gut, I feel like it's between the two V.E. Schwab's because with the fire on high, it does sound really good, but I feel like I'm in the mood for something with maybe like a little bit more grit. Whereas I feel like this one might be more lighthearted. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it might be. So I'm deciding between two V.E. Schwab's. Now, this one is obviously new, there's a lot of hype. It sounds really amazing. This one is not new, but it also sounds really amazing. So, which do I choose? Which do I choose? All right, I'm gonna have a drink of tea. Please help me decide tea. Do I want dark and paranormal? Or do I want sad and paranormal? Because I feel like that's what these are. How many pages do they both have? Because I'm also currently in the middle of reading It by Stephen King, which is really long. So. This one's only 3.40 and this one's 5.40. Okay, I've made my decision. I think I'm gonna read Vicious by V.E. Schwab, mostly because this one's been on my TBR for the longest out of all of these books and I feel like I owe it to this book to finally read it. It also sounds like a paranormal dark academia from what I understand from the blurb and I love dark academia so I feel like I'm going to enjoy this book a lot. It was also a gift from me from my friend Lucy for my birthday so I'm really excited to read this one. So I'm going to read this one and then as soon as I finish this one I think I'm going to probably get started on this one because I'm really excited about this one too. But in general I'm really excited about all of these books. I'd love to know in the comments down below which one of these four books you would have chosen. And if you've read any of them, of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on them as well. But this has been really fun. And I think it's a great way to actually make a decision on which book you should read next. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.